Alright, hello everybody and welcome back to Planet Zoo, where we were apparently having some problems with habitat <laughs> habitat cleanliness. But uh, I have I have a, a big project in mind for today. I have no idea if we'll be able to pull it off, but I will give you a, a, a secret, uh, a hint as to what it's going to be. Do I want to though? Do I really want to give you guys a hint? Let's just say that we're gonna do a bunch of terraforming. A bunch. We're gonna spend some cash on this terraforming. What? Escaped? What escaped? Where was it out? Oh my gosh, look at all the little ones. How old do they need to be? I wonder before we can start selling off the little ones. That's crazy. That's a lot of Nile monitors. Anyways, that was very disruptive. Um, but it did remind me that I want to uh, increase our intensity here. We, I just want to get out from things. And now I'm going to go like this. Up we go. Up. Up we go. We are going to create a bit of drama back here. And I do want to carry this level around. Carry that around. Okay. And now let's go with this level. A little bit lower here. Still, we're gonna keep that coming out here. And now uh, let's carry that around a bit more. Okay. Alright. So, you're probably thinking that looks terrible. What are you doing, sir? Great question. I think what I'm doing, though, is making something that's going to look pretty cool. want it to be you know what I think I I have the right idea here I, I need to keep going a little bit more let's, let's take this middle level a bit and then let's let's say Pull up here and here, and let's smooth that part a little bit. All right. Now, the barrier we want to be. So I think I want this a little bit closer to the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and turn up along here. Come on, snap. There we go. Alright. Sorry, I know I'm not doing a, a great job of narrating, but I think 
we're going to have a cool opportunity here to create Let's go a little bit wider and a little bit longer. It won't let me. Will it let me? Okay. So let's. Okay, perfect. Let's do. Will people be able to see over that and into this habitat? I think they can. All right. Sorry, I know my camera work is terrible, but I'm I'm trying to get it right on the edge, right like that. Okay. Now, for part of the terrain, I'm gonna push down in here and then we're going to bring this down and this down and get a little bit of natural cave going on here You have a guess yet? You probably saw. I probably put it in the in the uh, uh, what do you call it? Thumbnail. We are going to bring in this guy from. Pantera Paradise. I haven't done that with this zoo because I really wanted this to be more um, you know, I didn't want this playthrough to be super influenced by my other saves. But part of what I've realized <clears throat> is that you know, you only get What, are, what am I trying to say here? Basically, I want to have an opportunity for these animals to survive and thrive. And, you know, I only have five or six zoos, whatever it is. And it's a little bit silly to be like, no, you can't, you know. I'm going to just leave this virtual animal <laughs> in storage in virtual storage because I might could someday utilize it like it just that's silly that's silly that I, that I was being protective of these virtual animals let's let them let's let them mingle here and they can uh, we'll have fun with them so we want the um, what was it the Saharan what was it? West African. I knew it was some kind of qualifier. None. How's that even possible? There's no lions at all? Are they broken? None. That's like ridiculously disappointing. Oh, this poor guy is bringing this lion all that way. Uh, we need to include this habitat in a work zone before I forget. Uh, let's put it Probably with the hippos, as weird as that is. Alright, 
But what do you need, Mr. Lion? Oh, he's actually not too unhappy. He likes the hard shelter. Needs some short grass, long grass, some rock. Has way too much sand. Understandable. Are you going to go jump out here? Find out real soon. All right, we'll get your terrain squared away, buddy. So we'll do rock in here. Like your, how do you like your den? Almost enough rock. Almost enough rock. There we go. There's enough rock. Now we're going to put the tall grass up here. Over the top. All that took away some of the rock. Are you kidding me? Let's uh, make this smaller. Paint this rock. Oh, all right, that's one we want to box up. Let's take it up. That should do it. All right. Release one African wild dog to the wild. I can do that. African wild dogs. We only have two? Oh, okay. Okay, I can't do that right now. Oh, and that one's getting old. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Lion, let's try this again. We'll get you what you need just bear with me we got the grass let's put some short grass up here Enrichment, toy enrichment. We can handle that. So let's go with the West African lion. We'll give you a blood pumpkin right there. And soccer ball over there. And a scratching post over here. So that. Oh, suddenly our viewing platform seems grossly insufficient. All right, I'll deal with that here in a second. Facilities we want. Donation bins will go there and there. We're going to want education board, which is always the wrong way. Put that right here along with the speaker, which we have to click twice. And this is powered. Let's go. And there we have it. Can I do a marketing campaign? Let's get him some 
water. Probably down here is fine. And then Don't give all oh, that's huge. We'll put a, a scratching tree. Will he climb that? Maybe. We'll put that one there. I think you should be pretty happy with this setup. What do you think, dude? Yeah, he's happy. Now that I'm the hippos are fighting for alpha status. Hmm. Okay. Let's. I'm going to fix that viewing platform here in a second. But before we do that, I want to check. Refresh. No West African line. That's super frustrating. I may have to go play my other fr uh, franchise for a little while. Okay. All right. We need to back this up a bit. Um, we'll go. Same idea. Um, if it'll let me. there but yeah that's it turn off the lights that's exactly what I want um, it, it's not perfect but you can walk up to the railing and see this line really well I feel like that's that's cool so let's get this speaker out to like there and we'll do a control D and put another donation bin up here and we'll do a control D on this and bring this over here. Is that facing the correct way? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> of course not. Can I? Uh, try that again. Okay, this will be facing the right way. Attention to detail, you know, that is. You guys can ask my wife, that is not what I'm known for. Alright. So, we'll put. Nope. Oh. So, how far is that reaching? Uh, you know what? I'm just going to control Z that out of there. Heck with it! Oh, I didn't give you uh, something to lay on. Extra large? You're probably large. There you go, buddy. Have a spot to sleep. So you might be wondering why I put those lions there when I have all this space. Um, it just seemed like I wanted to have more... Um, I wanted them to have a den for one thing and I wanted it to be so you know hopefully this guy will run up around there sometimes play up there I may move some enrichment up there for for later but we've got the little hyenas we've got this big kind of African adventure here is that the dead animal sable antelope Facility having significant negative effect. Can you show me where it is? 
I clicked on it and it didn't show me. Okay, cool. Okay, we got credit for that one already. I already clicked on that person. Look at all these people. They love the monorail. That's great. Show me. Ah, oh yeah, I can, I can see how that's probably super negative. Because I put the hyena viewing right by it. Well, what if I move it? It needs to reach that. So what if I move it? Now it won't affect the precious people's sensibilities. Are we good? Hopefully. People like these little now monitors. There's so many of them. Social negative effect. Why is it because you have so many siblings? <laughs> they don't have enough navigable swimming area. Well, it was fine when we started. How big is this compared to what they need overall? Maybe we can. That's well, barely enough. Dang it. Well, I'll tell you what, maybe we split them up. Maybe we do another now monitor area, like in through here or something. That could be fun. <clears throat> I don't know why I made this a staff path. It could just be a regular path. You could put now monitors in here. People could view from the top and from this. Hmm. I think in future episode, well, let's take a look at the animal uh, listing again. Well, let's do our search just for kicks. Lady lion? No. That is, that does not make me happy. Um, you know, let's just go to the zoo piece. So I don't remember if we have, we have wildebeest, but not water buffalo. So we could get those. Um, African elephants, I think is what we'll put behind the giraffes. We already have the monorail going over it so that they would be great animals to view now I, I do remember they're hard to get a hold of so buffalo elephant we could get camels um, where are they from Madagascar. <laughs> How could I forget? Yeah, we could get those. Get lemurs. I know it's silly to make this like an African zoo just because we're in Africa because it's specifically supposed to be desert type animals. Um, so some of these things don't make sense. Like the ostrich and warthog make a ton of sense for what we're going for. Gemsbok could work. Ooh, 
Hairy scorpions. Giant tiger land snail. And goliath beetles. Goliath frogs. Oh, flamingos. Yeah, I didn't realize they were all along the coast of Africa like that. That's cool. Hippos we have. So we could do mandrills and bonobos if we wanted. That'd be kind of fun. Nyalas. I think we have some of those. We have some of those. No, we don't. Okay, Nyalas could be fun to have. Nyalas and Okapis. Can they live together by chance? No. Okay. Noted. I can't remember if we have any zebras. I don't think we do. No. That'd be another one that I think can live with other species. Species. Yes. Yeah, they can live in this one. We should definitely get some of those. Oh, puff. So we could, there's several of these that we could get. Red panda. Oh, the red rough lemur also. Can they live with the other lemurs? Okay. Maybe we do that too. Maybe we do a little lemur. Something or other. We have the giraffes. We have the antelopes. We got added hyenas last episode. We have some spring box. And a West African lion, which we cannot find a female in the yeah, there's a lot more monkeys in in Africa than I guess I... I mean, I guess I knew that that's where they lived, but... Yeah, Western Lowland Gorillas, too. <laughs> Alright. What if we go to... What if we say specifically desert animals? So the elephant... The camel, the cheetahs, Gemsbok, Springbok, yeah. Yeah, if we say African, African desert. It's basically the elephant. We already have these. We already have these. We already have these. <laughs> okay. Well, that gives us some direction moving forward. Still have a, a quite a few animal options. I think we'll probably add maybe... I'm thinking... One, two, then the, the African elephants, I'm going to make a pretty big one over here. But it's basically going to be like three, three more habitats. And then everything else is going to be, I might put one in over here that's like something fun and small. I'd, I'd like to have it so that people can sort of meander through some smaller things, maybe some exhibits and a few small, like how this now monitor is, is a, it kind of fits within the flow of the whole operation. I'd like to do something like that over here. And we're going to need some more staff buildings. We're going to need some better decoration around these guys. Boy, people are not making their way up here, are they? I thought that this would draw people to this place.
part of the of the park. But that doesn't seem to be happening there. We've got this amazing male lion up here. Oh, he's hungry. Well, that's not good. What if I reset this? Is that ready to go? That's fine. Go eat your blood pumpkin, dude. I don't want him to go hungry. Hopefully the keeper gets up there quick for him. Oh, I would be so mad if he went hungry and died. I would be so mad. Alrighty, well, hopefully you're enjoying. I'm having a good time with it. I know it's not a ham to talk. Great. Looks like we might need to get rid of it. Sorry, I need to just outro this video and move on. Uh, so we added the monorail and the hyenas last time. We added the West African lions and, and some things this time. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying it. I'm having a lot of fun playing it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.